Hey guys, I'm Ren here with a new Minecraft video. Today I have a random number generator that can select one of six numbers, much like a dice. It uses a clock, and it has a system that allows it to re-roll if no number was selected. It's a very fast system, as well as a mildly large system, but uh, once I start going over all the components in it, you should... Uh, be able to understand how it works and maybe make your own. Um, now, due to MC edits being no longer updated and me being in 1.2.3, um, I cannot give you guys the download link for this unless I want to give you the full world, but I do have some stuff in here, so I can't do that. Um, but if you guys do want one of these, you're going to have to make it yourself based off of what I describe in this video. Alright, so we're going to get started. Uh, this is the clock. Um, it's more of an counter or an inverse clock because normally clocks have a short pulse going through, but this has an extremely long pulse with a short off. Um, and it has two repeaters in between every output, and it has six outputs for each roll of the die. Um, the way you would start it is you f let it run all the way through and then you go over to a important piece of redstone like this and then I'm kinda messing up here but you let it run all the way through and then you break it and replace it really quickly and it should be so that only one line is dark while all the other ones are lit and that in turn allows these torches a split second to turn on when one of these is off. So when this line is off for that split second, this one can go on. Um, and when I press this button, it activates this inverse pulse limiter um, right here that you can see. And it turns off this line for a split second, and wherever this clock is on its way around is which torch will be turned on, which is a fairly ingenious system there. So I'm going to roll and it picked number five. Um, and from number five, it turn it flips an RS Norlatch here um, and goes down here, which I'll get to later. But when it flips the RS Norlatch, it goes over to this repeater. And as well as the repeater or the RS Norlatch, it goes to this piston, which is the only way you can repeat a current uh, as short as this one from this pulse limiter. So something like this and it pulls it back and pushes it forward so that the current can carry on and then it comes up here flips this torch and goes to my check system which is a series of pistons that push down to see if a current has come through one of these repeaters and if it has what happens is it goes to this monostable circuit flips this wired off allowing this torch to turn on and locks this block on, um, which is part one of the check system. Um, it's it's a bit of a complex AND gate, but once the uh, this comes through, it goes down to this torch and goes, and it's part two of the check system here. Um, and if this torch is off because no signal has passed through here to flip the Saras Nor latch, like it is now. Um, it will blink this wire off, causing this torch to turn on, and re-roll the die. Now, say if the clock was stuck, and you um, didn't have a output, and you hit the roll button, what would end up happening is it would check like it is now, and then it would send a reroll back through and it would keep sending rerolls back through until it got an answer um, but since the clock is obviously off it um, won't give us an answer so that needs to be on so put the clock back on it's rerolling it checks for a uh, s output and it sees that there is one so it does not reset a reroll so that's that. Uh, this is the reset, just basic torches above the RS Nors, um, and it just uh, resets the torches. 
Now, this is from underground, actually, over here, um, where these RS Nors get flipped. I, for simplicity's sake, I just put something here underneath, and then it flows down here, goes all the way under, and goes out to over here. This is just a quick mock display. Um, eventually, I'm going to add it, add decoders that uh, tell you um, that output into like a die, which with the seven segment or seven dots and uh, whichever ones are lit up is the answer or the uh, roll that you got. But the system resets extremely quickly due to how those are actually hooked directly into here. Um, and it rolls in about a second. Uh, now, it takes obviously a lot longer to re roll because it has to roll, there it has to go through all these and then roll again. But uh, again, that's fairly short. Um, the event of it not rolling is extremely uncommon and the event of it rolling twice which I do not have a system for currently um, because I felt it was unnecessary is ridiculously uncommon I have never had it happen in all the testing I've gotten through with this um, and obviously I've tested it a lot before I submitted it as a final product to you guys but that is the basics of my random number generator it just selects a random number using this clock and double checks if it has a random number um, and I'm going to go force the check system over here real quick uh, so it just double checks if it has one and if it doesn't it makes sure it gets one and it will not stop until it actually gets a random number but that's it I'd like to thank you guys for watching please rate comment subscribe and I will see you in the next video peace